Hey, it's Ivan here from Project Talent, and I help entrepreneurs to free up their time using systems, tools, and delegation. In this video, we'll dive into the operator and see if it can possibly manage my Gmail inbox. We will be building the prompt together, and we will see what are the limitations right now on operator that would prevent us from doing that, if any. Let's start by writing a prompt. So here I made a quick prompt saying that, hey, imagine that you're my executive assistant. I want you to source through my Gmail inbox for each email you see. You need to decide if that's something that we need to reply on. If yes, then draft a reply for me based on the context of the discussion without sending it. And if the email does not need a reply, then I have it. If you are not sure, ask me. Let's see what it will be able to do. And uh, overall, what could be the, the thought process of the, of the uh, operator in here? Because I've seen it implementing different things beyond the prompt. So it could create us a custom filters or something like that. I'm wondering how that will work. Okay, so I was already logged into one of my Gmail accounts for other things I tried. I will go ahead and add my corporate account to, to give it more emails in the first place and show you how it works. So basically you take over the control and you jump in and uh, log into your inbox. And just like that, we are in our Gmail. Now I'll finish up and tell it what I've done. So I logged into my uh, Ivan at paretotalent.com account and uh, let's give the control and let's see what it will be doing. I'm kind of freaking out if it will start sending emails on my behalf to all of the clients and all. Um, it will be weird, but yeah, let's see uh, how it will behave. This is the reason why uh, we have the opportunity to take control. We can stop it at any point of time. So if you see that it does something uh, that it shouldn't be doing, then uh, we will be able to prevent it. As I can see right now, it opened the Google security alert. It probably understood that it's, yeah, archiving Google security alerts on my left. Okay, it selected all of the emails. The selected emails. Okay, it understood that it does not need to select all of them. Okay, it went ahead, selected only this e email and deselect it again. So as you can see right now, it has problems with um, selecting it. Let's give it some ideas. Um, so work on the emails one by one. When you judged the context of the email, archive the email within the, um, within the email view, view itself. Let's tell something like that. Let's see if it will change anything because there is our hive button once you open the email. I'm not sure why it needs to go back to our hive it, right? Okay, it's opening emails one by one, draft and reply, re-email me your cell phone, anticipate my text instructions, activating text area, retry an input. Okay, hello Kasim. Okay, it added the draft and left. Uh, as I've seen, so let's pause it for a second. As I've seen the uh, take control, it added a template that's like custom, like ChatGPT would write for you. So here, Ivan will provide his cell phone number shortly. Uh, so it it literally acts as executive assistant. It told talks about me in, in third voice, right? We need to fix it. So uh, let's uh, finish up. Uh, let's exit to chat. Let's give it more instructions. When you are preparing drafts, reply as Ivan Bunin. And I will specify in the first voice. Maybe something like that will help. So far, I, yeah, not super impressed uh, with what it can do. Uh, let's give it a bit more time draft discarded recreating draft reply in, in the voice navigating inbox finding customs email it, this email wasn't from custom it was from effective action something okay here's my number this is better reply i'll provide my cell number shortly okay this is good because it doesn't have my number right so it goes ahead and and gives something that is much more um general absumo will it understand that this email does not need anything. Okay, I have an information from AppSumo. I've shortened through the emails in here's a summary of the actions taken. Google security alerts are hyped. Follow up a follow up email are hyped. Drafted a reply in your voice. AppSumo newsletter. Okay, would you like me to continue? Uh it didn't archive it. It kind of lies to me because I can still see these emails in here, right? So it did not archive them. 
okay, how would we solve this? So le let's first of all tell it. Um, as I can see the emails that you say were are are hived are still in the inbox. We need a better better archive sequence as the current one doesn't really work you can okay no i won't give it i i won't give it shortcuts it will probably mess it up if i will tell that hey you can just click e to our highlight uh let's just see what it will do with this updated prompt if it will understand what i'm talking about if it will see its own errors because i've seen it before where it understands okay actually yeah it was a misclick or something let's see what it will do or have an email from andrew's text okay it did our habit nice it was able to click on it that's good. I have an email from Kasim. Why it archived it? it? It created a draft for it. Promo email from AppSumo. Okay, here we go. It goes and cleans it. Okay, it opened this new email. It archived it. It should not have archived it. Last pass promotional email. Okay, this is the invitation. Will it? Okay, it went ahead and accepted invitation on my behalf. This is fun. I, I did not extract it to do that. Okay, reviewing the conversation, drafting reply, confirming watermark usage. That's so funny. This is email about the AI, no AI watermark and I'm replying to it with AI. Draft discarded. Why it's discarded the draft? Aha, uh -huh. it understood that it saved it incorrectly, went ahead and now fixes the serious issue. Okay, it again, made the same mistake, recreating the draft. Okay, what it will do or have an email after saving the draft, conversation or hive. Um, okay. Was not supposed to do that. It was not supposed to create a, a, a draft and then have the email. Let's tell it that. For the emails that you think, uh, no, for the emails that you create drafts for, do not archive them once you added a draft. I want to see all of your drafted emails in my inbox or I want to see all of them, all of the emails I need to reply to with your drafts, drafts um, in my inbox. Uh, let's see if something like that will change its behavior, if it will understand um, what's wrong, right? But so far it was able to fix the archiving issue, uh, but it's a little bit too trigger trigger happy, I would say. It likes our have a bit too much stuff. Okay, it went ahead and uh, removed the emails that it drafted, so it removed the archived emails that it drafted replies for and pushes it back to the inbox. But as I can see, does not do it successfully so far. Moving draft reply to inbox. Okay, how would you do that? Conversation moved to trash. Okay, <laughs> I action not done. It cannot restore my, and in this email there is actually no draft. Okay, it created draft. Close the message window and return it to drafts. Accessing draft reply, moving to inbox. Okay, let's tell it to stop doing that. No need to move previously um, archived drafted emails back to inbox, just start again directly from, from the inbox. Um, because it's it trying to solve its own issues, creating more issues at this point, and it does not really solve them. So I would just rather give it instructions and start again. As you can see, again, it understands some things way too literally. It doesn't understand some of the behaviors as well. So it doesn't understand that, hey, like usually the emails that you need to reply to will, will still be in, um, uh, in the inbox. They should be in there. As of right now, as I can see, again, it just rushes through all of them and confirms all of them. I will need to go ahead and check everything it's done. Okay, draft and reply with Ivan's number. I can probably provide it with my number and it will then add it in here, right? And again, it's not email from Kasim. 
Okay. Does it need to do anything in here? Okay, so far so good. So far it just goes through all of the emails and archiving them. Uh, I'm wondering if it will be able to, again, once it will hit one of these conversations when uh, where it needs to prepare a better reply, like here, for example. Here it needs to understand the whole thread. Uh, our work in finding a suitable candidate. This is great reply, actually. Drop this card. But this was a great reply. Hey, yeah, we are working on this. Just like keeping the loop going. Uh, it misspelled Marika in here in the email. It says Mirka, which is very bad issue, to be honest. Okay, informational emails. It does really well. So here is my note so far. It does really well with archiving uh, unimportant emails. It's not as good with creating drafts and saving them. So therefore, I would probably start using it for archivation purposes. I'm not sure if it can actually go in and um, create great replies and create a, a system where, where it's actually usable and workable, right? So that's my experience so far with the operator inside my email. Uh, I will probably play more with the prompt. I will try new things and see if I can prompt it where uh, all of the system will start working. As you can see right now, it can do some things in your inbox, uh, but I probably wouldn't be the one to trust it to manage my inbox completely because it misclicks, it writes um, replies that sometimes are not in the right tone, in the right voice, or in the right context at all. So like replying from the third party that we've seen in the very beginning, but probably it was an issue with the tone. If it will draft all of, the, all of these replies, then... Um, it's really easy for entrepreneur to open their inbox and just customize them a little bit and send them. So as the interim step between having a full-time executive assistant and managing inbox yourself, I would say it's a good start. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye.